The aim of this procedure is to demonstrate the methods and techniques commonly used for soil sampling and isolation of entomopathogenic nematodes. This is accomplished by first collecting soil samples by a transect approach or, as demonstrated, a random sampling approach. Next, the soil samples are baited with insects to selectively recover entomopathogenic nematodes. The final step is to collect the nematodes from infected insects using a modified wipe trap. Ultimately, these techniques represent key steps for the successful establishment of entomopathogenic nematode cultures in the laboratory and form the basis for downstream bioassays. The advantage of the soil sampling technique is that we can go to the field and collect in mature stages of entomopathogenic nematodes rather than sampling for insects that are infected with these nematodes which are seldom encountered. The random sample strategy we employ is commonly used to assess the diversity of entomopathogenic nematodes from a large geographical region or area. This technique was first described by Bedding and Ackhurst in 1975. It is a selective procedure based on the premise that free-living stages will be attracted to insect hosts and parasitize them. Demonstrating the procedures will be Russell Orozco, graduate student, and Ming Ming Li, research technician in my laboratory. The site for collecting samples should have a minimum area of 2 square meters and, if possible, be greater than 4 square meters. For each soil sample, take at least three smaller subsamples within the demarked sample area. The subsamples can be combined if it meets the studies.